Hey friends, we are <laughs> at my favorite antique store. I'm with my sister and both boys. And we're at Rags to Riches in Harrodsburg and I always find something here. So I thought I would do a video and we'll see what we can find. Okay, we just got back from Goodwill and Rags to Riches, and we found so much good stuff. Um, we found stuff for the baby's room and a lot of stuff for my booth. I'll probably keep one or two of these because I love them myself, but um, first I'll start with stuff from Rags to Riches. So at Rags to Riches, um, I tried to film a little bit while we were in there, but I just got way too excited and completely forgot that I was supposed to be making videos. So, I think I filmed like two or three things that I saw in there that I really loved, but I just didn't want to spend too much money. Um, so, I didn't get those, but I'll still insert clips of those here because they are beautiful. Um, but I did get a few things for myself and one of them is this really pretty ornate gold um, little hand mirror. It has a lot of really pretty details and it's beveled glass. It looks old because it has all these little spots on it and this was only five dollars so I thought that was such a good deal. And then the next thing I got for myself is this beautiful blue and white teapot. It is huge and it didn't have the lid with it, but that's okay. I'll stick flowers in here or greenery or Christmas tree. I don't know, but it's so pretty. And on camera, it looks more navy, but in person, it's a really pretty light blue <laughs> almost like a purple color and I have a little soup well, tray. I don't know the you wanna go to Polar Express Shack? Okay. Okay, so this looks navy on camera but it is like a purplish, really pretty light blue. And it's really crazed on the inside and the bottom. It doesn't have a stamp, or I guess that might be a stamp right here. Um, but there's no name or anything on it. But I just had to have it. There's so much detail. And I would guess that this is an actual antique. It's really, really old looking. The tag says English teapot, and I paid $34 for this. So this was my splurge for the day. I'll use this during spring and summer decorating in the kitchen. And then the other, oh, I did get this at Rags to Riches. This is gonna go in my booth, probably. It's a really pretty picture of this like Victorian style lady. And it was only $4.75. It's really pretty. And then the other two big purchases I got were for my niece that will be here in January. And I told you we're doing a like antique dog theme. And I know that's probably hard to imagine. <laughs> But once you see the pictures, I think you'll get it. So we found this huge picture in this really pretty ornate frame. And it's got the little girl sleeping on this big fluffy dog. So this 
picture was only $35, which I thought that was a great deal. I expected it to be a lot more than that, especially because this frame is so pretty and it is so big. But this is perfect for her room. I can't wait to hang it up on the wall when we're ready to decorate. And then, something I've gotta take this for just a second. We found this chandelier, Sutton's looking at it, um, but it is so pretty. And she actually bought a little table lamp that's just like this for her room um, on Amazon. And this was only $50. Hopefully, I mean, it's got all the pieces and everything, so hopefully this works. Um, and we can use it in her room for the nursery. But if not, I will keep it and hang it up under the tree for a tea party or hang it in my booth as like a decoration in there. I think it's so pretty. Moving on to some other things we got for her room. I bought a little dog book. Um, and then this might make some people mad, but <laughs> it was a thrifted book and I found some pictures in it that would go really good with her theme. So I tore the pages out and we're gonna frame them and put them in her room. But how good will this look with that big picture? I think it's so cute. My sister picked out two of the pages from the book that she likes that would go with the theme. And this is one and then so that is an idea if you don't mind um, thrifting books that like the Goodwill or Salvation Army and they have really pretty illustrations. In a way you are rescuing it from going to a landfill or something um, and repurposing it to give it a new life. So if you ever find a book that has really pretty illustrations, you can always frame them and use them for artwork and it saves you a lot of money. Um, but this is the other one. And I just got this frame at the Goodwill today and it was like a cherry stain and we just rub and buffed it gold. Super cute. And that is another one of the book pages. And I think the last thing we got for her room is this little figurine. It was lime green and I chalk painted it white and we'll just set that um, on a bookshelf. I've got rub and buff on my nails, sorry. But this was from Goodwill too. I think I paid like 99 cents for this little dog. And the rest of what I have all came from the Goodwill today. We went there, it's just right across the road from Rags to Ridges. So we stopped in there on the way home and got a couple things for my booth. I got this, it needs to be cleaned. I have not cleaned it yet, but it is a really big like tabletop Easter egg. It's a pale pink with all these little bunnies and really pretty details. Um, I'll either put this in my booth or if my sister maybe wants to use it in the baby's room for Easter, it'd be perfect for a little girl's room. And I found this there too. It looks like a chocolate bunny. It's kind of like metallic -y, kind of looks like the foil, but it is a figurine and has that really pretty bow on there. So this will, same thing, either go in my booth or if she likes it for the baby's room. If she wants to decorate it seasonally, that would work for a little girl's room too. Um, and then this little white, I guess somebody painted it white. Yeah, they did, because it looks like you can see the original color in there. But I guess this is like a turkey basket or a chicken, I don't know what it is. But I thought this was cute. It'll probably go in my booth too. 
and there was a lot of Victorian artwork today so I really did good finding this stuff that I'm going to show next. I got two of these made in Italy. It's got the velvet or felt whatever this is on the back and there's this one. It's got the little girl and it's red backing and then this one is a woman with a hat. These frames are perfect for Christmas tree ornaments or hanging on the side of a hutch or just filling in anywhere that you want to add something in. <clears throat> These were two dollars and I might keep them for our Christmas tree. I really try to make our Christmas tree look old fashioned so we'll see. And then I got this. This is a wooden frame. It looks really old. Really pretty details. And I think that's a little girl. So this will go in my booth. I showed it to my sister. She doesn't like it. <laughs> but I think it's really pretty. And she's coming around. She's starting to like more of the French style. And I got these two. They're really thick frames. They have the floral painting. It's that's not like an original painting, but it's still really pretty. This one's $5.99. They're heavy. Really good quality. I think I might keep this one because I really like it. Um, but who knows, it might end up in my booth. I can't keep everything. And then I got this one too. So they're a little bit different. The flowers. There's like roses in this one. And then what are those? Like zinnias or I don't know. I got this too. Really pretty, like French looking picture of this woman with flowers and a little fluffy dog. I thought this could work in the baby's room, but she doesn't love it. So, this will go in my booth. And the last thing is this little tray it's got the roses on it and I like this because it's almost more neutral a lot of the trays have a lot of like, bright colors um, but this one is almost like a cream with the roses on the middle and it's got a little sticker on the back that says it was hand painted so this will go in my booth during probably February um, or spring. I try to decorate by the season and I don't do a lot of Valentine's Day decorating, but I have been collecting a lot of roses. So this year I'm gonna try to put roses in my booth, roses and little angels and things like that for Valentine's Day. But I think that's everything that we got. I hope you all have a great day and thank you so much for watching.